Danger Debs in the Morning on Diversity of Music. Coming up, guys, now is a diversity project. I love doing this project with Katie and Adrian. It's called A Language Sandwich, where Katie and Adrian just try and pronounce words in British and then try and pronounce them in Polish. And also, it's going to be a tongue twister in this diversity project. So enjoy A Language Sandwich, a diversity project created with Danger Debs at Diversity of Music. On Diversity of Music. <laughs> Language Sandwich. <laughs> How would you say that in Polish? <laughs> there will be uh, tongue twisters, one in English and one in Polish. Uh, am I right? Hashtag diversity of music. Okay, now, this is the accent challenge, and this is a segment we call Language Sandwich. So, I'm here with Adrian. Hello. Now, hi, everyone. Now, Adrian's from Poland. Yes, so, the idea of this challenge is we're going to say these words in English, and then Adrian will translate the word into Polish... And then I will tell you what the definition is in English. So will we start with the first word? Recipe. Recipe. Okay, so Adrian, what is that in Polish? Uh, it's przepis. 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 I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, now recipe, that's a organised piece of paper of methods on how to prepare, on food preparation, like on how to make food, how to make drink in a structured way. Next word. Next word. Vitamins. Vit- vitamins. Okay, so, Adrian, how would you say that in Polish? In Polish it would be vitamine. Vitamine. Uh, vitamins, it's a pharmaceutical substance used for people to take care of their general well-being and health. Next is caramel. Caramel. In Polish, karmel. So just... The same. Very, very, very similar, yes. Almost almost the same, yeah. That's a sweet, sugary substance used for confectionery, baking, to put in cakes, biscuits, chocolates. I don't really like it. Do you like caramel? I don't mind eating caramel, but... It makes me I sick. Would, I would prefer a van- vanilla flavour instead of the caramel one. Definitely. Now, Adrian, the next word. I think you... You're good at saying this in Polish, so tell everyone what does water what is water in Polish? Water in Polish woda. Vodka. Almost. We take it from there. Water. Now I've always wondered water. about this one. Water. What is water? It's just liquid. Just clear the, the pure... transparent liquid that tastes of nothing. 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 But it is very important. You need it to hydrate. You need it for anything really. You need it to keep clean. Water is life. Hashtag water. Yes, life. Now, the next one I chose, penicillin. Adrian, how would you say that in Polish? Penicillin uh, will be penicillina. Penicillina. I like that. Now, that's a long word. Penicillin is a chemical substance invented by the Scots. Uh, The next word. Earthquake. I predict an earthquake. (laughs) Penicillin. Okay. Right, earthquake. Uh, earthquake. How would you say that I in always struggle with this word in English. Uh, and uh, the translation, the Polish translation for this word will be trzęsienie ziemi. Trzęsienie ziemi. Almost. Trzęsienie ziemi. Trzęsienie ziemi. I need to ma- make sure. It's like uh, wh- when, the, uh, when the ground is trembling. This is the, er- er- <laughs> the earthquake, isn't it? Yes. Yes. So, yes. In Polish, it will be trzęsienie ziemi. Trzęsienie ziemi. I, I like it. it. I like your version. I like it. Earthquake. Anyway, an earthquake is er- 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 a earthquake. type of weather. Very strong. Very vast wind. Can we move on to the next one? Yeah. <laughs> okay, the next one is paracetamol. Paracetamol. And in Polish, it will be paracetamol. Ooh, paracetamol. Paracetamol. Now, that is another chemical, that's another pharmaceutical substance. Takes away the pain. It's just a special pill. Next is data or data. However, there are two ways to say that in the English language. Data or data. I say data. Me too. Adrian, how do Polish people say data? Data. Data or data. I prefer data. Uh, in Polish would be dane. Dane. Now, this is a load of information, like could be stored on a computer, fax yes, machine. It will be done as a, uh, as a storage. Storage information. Uh, and uh, data, as, a, as internet data, will be 
transfer. Okay, um, that is the end of the mm-hmm. language sandwich. Thank you for joining me for that, Adrian. No problem at all. Before we go, we're going to do a tongue twister, one in English for me and one in Polish for Adrian that Debs has set aside for us. I will do mine first in English. Here we go. Here we go. If two witches were watching two watches, which witch would watch which watch? Can I do it as well? Because it's interesting. I would I would repeat that. If two witches were watching two watches, which witch would watch which watch? We both smashed it. Wow. <laughs> okay, so I'll start with the Polish one now. And it will be... Oh, I'm, I messed that up just a little bit. I'll try again. Chrząszcz brzmi w trzcinie, w szczebrzeszynie. Let's say this together, Adrian. Okay, okay, let's try again together. Chrząszcz brzmi w trzcinie. Slow down, mate. As you can see, I'm struggling as well <laughs> because it's, it's so hard. brzmi w trzcinie, w szmerzydi. I love it. I love it. Uh, I love the way you, you're saying that. Chrząszcz brzmi w trzcinie, w szczebrzeszynie. A beetle is buzzing. That's what it means. Yes, a beetle is buzzing in Kane, in Szczebrzeszyn, which is a village. Ah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that is the end of the tongue twister. And now over to our next song. This has been Katie and Adrian doing the language sandwich and the tongue twister. Language sandwich. Okay. Have a good day, everyone. On diversity of music. <laughs> language sandwich. <laughs> How would you say that in Polish? <laughs> there will be uh, tongue twisters, one in English and one in Polish. Uh, am I right? Hashtag diversity of music. Let's talk about language sandwich. Oh, yeah. That, <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> yes. that happened in the jingle, Katie. <laughs> that was in the jingle. Uh, Katie was... Um, Pronouncing words in British and you were trying to pronounce it in Polish. I was saying them in Polish too, you know. Yes, yeah, you were. and you were very good. Thank you. You even did a tongue I, twister. I approve. <laughs> I approve. Would you do language sandwich again, guys? Definitely. We, I had fun making that. We've got to do another episode of language sandwich. 